Okay guys, um, this is another poster. We're going to go file open. I'm going to go to my poster elements. This time we're doing Art Nouveau and Psychedelic. These are all the things I painted or drew. Some of them were done in acrylic, some of them were done in watercolors, some of them were just done in pen. Um, so you open up all the things that you've scanned and the, now to get a surface that's good for working on, go to document type, international paper, choose A3, which should be 300 pixels per inch, so it's a good size to print from, and it's a good it's a good document. All right, go to the background, which is this one, and you can just select what you want from it. Uh, I'm going to tap that slightly to the left. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, Control X. Whenever I say Control, remember that on Mac it's going to be the little pretzel sign. Get rid of that one. No, I don't want to save it. I want to go to the untitled one, and I'm going to go Control V. And I just chose red and blue because they contrast nicely, and because I had heaps of that paint. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to stretch it out until it fills the whole thing, and there we go. All right. Now, something that you could do. Oh no, wait. I'll get all the stuff on first, and then we'll talk about what we could do with it. So the main uh, character in this is this woman who's kind of done in a trying to be done in an Art Nouveau style kind of Alphonse Mucha um, and um, I forget how I first of all did this but anyway so um, I'm using the quick selection tool but as you can see I've taken off too much of her face and parts of her toes and stuff so if I want to get any of that area back I just hold down alt and shift at the same time and I can get those areas back again which are useful if you make a mistake like I just did. Okay, and her head. Not that I need it because I'm going to cover it in hair. But and her toe. Yeah, pretty much got it. Okay, so go to the layer, take off that. Uh, where's my cursor? Take off the padlock and go Control X. And that removes everything, and also that place between her feet and by her hands. Oops. Hang on, I'm going to go close up for this. No deselect. And just that area there. I, I want to be quite careful with this because, um, actually, for real finicky bits, I'm just going to use the magic lasso tool because it's it's really not going to look very good with the black, uh, the blue and the red underneath it. So I really just want to make sure I'm just getting the character. Okay, so I pretty much got around her. This wasn't an easy thing to cut out because parts of her. Her skin are quite light, and so was the paper. So, whereas if you watch my Japanese, that Yukioe and Punk one, like you'll see how easy that was to cut out the character because she was surrounded with black ink. So anyway, I'm going to drag this. And I'm going to put it into a titled one. So yes, so there she is. I'm going to go Control T to decrease the size a little bit. I'm just going to get the main elements in first of all. Okay, so I don't need that. That's scrap paper. Uh, that's the hair. Um, Rotate 190, and in this case, I can possibly go just select color range, choose white, make sure I take the tablet, or the um, padlock off, and just remove the white, and that's worked way better because um, there wasn't that much white in the hair, and now I can possibly I'll see what it looks like, but I'm just going to try to drag this into this part. It's at a slightly wrong size for the for the character. So to make the hair kind of fit on it, I'm just going to have to change the look of it a little bit. Looks okay. How's it supposed to fit on? Like that, I guess. Anyway, that looks okay. There's kind of um, little bites, bits of white around that you can see. And that's actually from the paper that I was uh, drawing it from. So you know what? I'm actually, I'm actually just going to... I'm just going to get rid of that layer because I didn't do that very well. Yep. Yeah. And um, I'm going to go back to this one and, and think of a better way of doing it. So instead, I'm just I'm just going to select the hair. That'll probably end up a better a better look, really. Um, but you know, there's there's so many ways to do 
to do things. You can just choose whatever works best for whether it's been painted or drawn or or charcoal or whatever whatever works best. You know, you just need to try a couple of different things. Okay, magic wand isn't working because it's 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 painty. It's you know it's painted, so it's that's that's not going to work either. So just just do whatever's best for the medium. Um, mm, no, that's too finicky as well. I'm going to go back to going uh, select color range. I'm just going to do a big close up first and see where those parts are kind of affecting it. Uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter that much, but like in these kind of areas, it'll look a bit strange. I guess I'm being a bit per of a perfectionist, so I shouldn't worry. You know what? You know what I could do is I could um, put a filter on before I take it um, into um, the other bit and make it look like paint dabs. Maybe. Yeah, this. Poster edge. All these could be quite cool. Poster edge looks kind of cool. Um, you know what? Let's let's do an interesting one. So um, so now I've done this effect on it, and I'm gonna once again select color range. See if there's any white around the areas. Not that I can see much. There's a little bit. Okay, I got rid of that stuff, and I'm gonna do a lasso tool around it because I I know that there's um there's little bits of white floating around which I don't really want that are just detailing from the page that I took it from. Okay, so that's some scrap paper there. I'm going to put it into here. I know that it's going to... Oh, that looks kind of cool. Um, I know it's the wrong size for the for the body, but I'll be able to figure it out. Just kind of keep playing around with it until it looks okay. Have a twist. Okay, so now her hair looks highly textured. Um, so that's basically the idea. Layer 3 and Layer 2 I'm now going to merge together. So that's my basic shape. Um, these crazy ideas, I, <laughs> which I thought was a good idea at the time, I'm going to get rid of the, the white, and then just uh, lasso them and paste them in here. I'm going to do the same with all four of them. That's scrap paper. I didn't really have a have a very good idea how this was going to work, so this is going to be different every time I do it. It's going to be, it's you know, it's psychedelic, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, uh, yeah, magic wand, the white, cut it out, use the lasso tool. Cut out each crazy shape. One, two, three, and four. Okay, let's scrap paper, throw that away. Okay, so there's all the crazy shapes. Um, there was this weird horseshoe thing I did, um, which I thought was a good idea at the time as well. <laughs> um, you know, um, I, I'm gonna uh, put in a. Uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna threshold it. No, I don't want to do that. Um, what about image? Uh, uh, image adjustments. Posterize might make it a bit more. Standout-ish. Oh, that doesn't look good either. Okay. Just try things on. Um, okay, I've got to filter gallery and do something else. Try um, pink dabs. Poster edges. Poster edges looks okay. I think. Okay, it looks alright. Um, and now I'm going to use the magnetic lasso. And I'm just going to carefully go around the outside, just hoping that that black line will make it very obvious what's 
is and what isn't the, the graphic. Seems to be working. And now the inside. Cool. All right, it's selected way less than I thought it would because it's missed this part out. But if you hold down shift, you can continue selecting another shape, which I didn't know for ages. But now it's changed everything. All right, now um, I can cut that out. Boom, removed it. Close that because that's scrap paper. Uh, that's scrap paper. And I'm going to put it in there. I don't quite know where I'm going to put it yet. I'm definitely going to put it um, upside down, though. Because as it usually is behind the, the figure. And the last thing is this, which I was trying to do as a band name, believe it or not. So I was thinking of the Clouds of Depression as a band name. And um, live and silent 24 hours a day, 7 days a week as a kind of a way of um, emulating the San Francisco sort of psychedelica stuff. Um... Right, okay. So, uh, let's go back to this. If you're ever comp finding things way too complicated, there's too many things on the screen, just 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 turn them off with the eye. Okay, so just give me a second until I move things around. Um, actually, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm just going to move things around, and then uh, you'll see what I've done. Okay, cool. I've just rearranged these weird uh, paintings I made around the place. So this looks fine. They're kind of following the form of the body a little bit. Thing I haven't added in was this little horseshoe. I'm going to drag that horseshoe right to the back because it's usually in the back of those Alfonso Mucha sort of things. Oh, right at the back. Though. There we go. Behind the hand. There we go. So it's kind of all detailed. It's, it's Art Nouveau meets Psychedelica. So there's going to be a lot of unnecessary, weird things going on. And if we look here, there's this sort of strange sort of shape going down through here. It's kind of like an S, I just realized, in this particular one. So, like those San Francisco posters we looked at, there's going to be some strange shapes to squish your lettering into. So the band name, or the pretend band name, whatever, is um, the Clouds of Depression. And um, I'm going to just uh, threshold them to make them really, really black. And um, then go select color range and get rid of the white. Go. Yep. I know. Cool. And then I'm going to drag that into a document here. There's the clouds of depression. And what I'm going to do is try to think about a way I can fit this in. So obviously, I think the would be best if it was at the top somewhere. Don't quite know where yet. The can go there. And then maybe clouds on another line. Oh, whoops, make sure I'm on the right thing. Yeah, I'm, oh, sexual move, okay. So that's the. I might have to label things just so I don't get confused. Clouds. I got a little bit too much there, but never mind. The clouds. Um, still on layer 11 is where of depression is now. Of. Maybe I'll put of there. I don't know. And then depression is where the old 11 was. But I'm going to try to make a sort of a shape that's sort of following it a little bit. I'm going to put these three together. I'm going to move them together. I'm holding down shift. But I'm not going to... Oh, whoops, I forgot uh, to include the... The clouds and 11 and 12 are all one stretch of words. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to I I'm going to um I'm going to merge them now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go image, sorry, edit, transform. I'm going to do this thing called warp. And warp is a really fun way to stretch your lettering. So I, I hope you can see what I'm doing here, and I'm making it look real funky. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to move depression down there, just like it is in um, those, uh, well, that looks cool, clouds of depression, um, just like those San Francisco posters. And then I'm going to double click on the layer, add a out.